My name is Carson Tudler. So I had only been dating a man for three months. So I guess I have like three months of a reference point of what it was like to be a gay man and an able-bodied man. I think people see people with disabilities and they wonder what does and doesn't work in terms of their sexual function. Sex is a really dynamic experience. In fact, that's like the greatest discovery that I had as a paralyzed man that I would love to share with the world is that sex is so much more dynamic than people think it is. And I think that disabled people have some of the best sex in the world and they have become so creative and so thoughtful about how pleasure works and how a partnership and intimacy works. Because I was born able-bodied, I have the privilege, and there is a privilege that comes with it, of having a body that looks kind of stereotypical. Not all disabled people have that privilege, and they face a different kind of discrimination where their bodies look different. And that's not to say they aren't sexy, that's not to say they aren't beautiful and all of the other things we think about a normal, stereotypical body, but they have an extra layer to work through. Yeah, I think sexuality is integral to one's identity. It's core to our experience as human beings. It's how we connect with other people. It's an emotional piece of who we are. Imagine what it would be like to not participate in relationships. So when we take that away from disabled people, we're not allowing them to express their, themselves in a really important way in the world. And such a big part of my experience as a gay man in a wheelchair has to do with sex and has to do with sexuality. Really, nothing's off the table. And there's no wrong way to do sex. There's no, no wrong way to experience your sexuality. And there's no wrong way to have a body. I think everyone wins when we create that conversation. <laughs>